Hey ho friends, it's Michelle back again and today I have a candle haul for you from Bath & Body Works. They had a huge sale last weekend, $12.95 on their three wick candles, plus I had a 25% off coupon, so I couldn't pass it up. That made them under $10. It made them $9.71 before taxes. Um, I know I said I was cutting back on Bath & Body Works, and I still am. Believe me, this is still cutting back because I have not bought from them since, I think, early January. Um, during the semi-annual sale, I may have bought just a few. But anyway, this is definitely still cutting back for me. I had two to exchange, and I bought another two in store. And then I have ten candles that I ordered online, um, and they are all fragrances that are only available online at least that's what the website says you know how that goes they may be in store at some point but at least right now um so let's get started so i exchanged i don't remember even what i brought in um anyway doesn't matter so the first one i got is hibiscus waterfall and I love the scent. I love the packaging. Kind of an almost iridescent blue with the palm leaves. And this is says tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, and fresh waterfall mist with essential oils, of course. You know, they got to put that in there. And then the lid is really neat. I wish they would not have put the center bath and body works on that but oh well it is a kind of a little bit of aquatic note but it's also got it says it's peach nectar but i almost get like a banana leaf type scent from this and then a little bit of the floral hibiscus in there If you don't like florals, you may not like this, but still give it a try if you haven't already because um, you may not get a heavy uh, floral note. I don't get like a powdery note. So yeah, give that one a try if you haven't. I, I love that one. That is one I will continue to buy. You know, there's a few that I will buy when they come out <laughs> every time, and that's one of them. Another one that I got from an exchange is Spring Plum and Blackberries. Nice little basic, you know, sticker label. Purple wax. I didn't show you the inside of the other one, but they should all pretty much be the same. Here's the bottom. And it says Juicy Market Plum, Tart Mixed Berries, and Natural Vanilla Bean. I don't really get vanilla bean from this. Um, I definitely get a deep, dark plum scent with those tart blackberries. And I'm a Scentsy Consultant, and there, this reminds me of the vanilla blackberry that came out that's in my club. You've probably seen it if you watch my uh, what I've been warming videos, but that's what this reminds me of. Um, it doesn't have quite as bit of a musk that that vanilla blackberry does, but it is definitely, it definitely has that tart and kind of musky note, but this one has just a little more of that deep plum note as well. I really like this kind of wish I would have gotten two. A lot of times, as you'll see in the kind of most of these, I buy candles in twos. All right, so then I'm walking around the store trying to decide, do I want to get some more? Do I want to order just the ones that are online only? I ended up picking this up. It's Kiwi Passion Flower, Passion Fruit, sorry. And I do get, mm, I was going to say mostly kiwi, but it is both the kiwi and the passion fruit, but you can smell them individually. 
Uh, let's see. Tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy apple. And this is real, just a good fruity scent. Um, I don't really think there's anything special about it necessarily, but I, I think this is one that comes back every year and I'm, I haven't tried it before. So I wanted to give it a shot and see how it goes. And this next one I got in store as well. This will be the last one from in store, but I was talking to, um, one of the ladies that worked there and we've kind of become friends because I'm there. I used to be there a lot more, <laughs> but we were talking and she said that she really liked mahogany coconut. And I said, well, I don't normally like masculine scents. I try to stick with fresh and fruity scents. And she was like, okay. And then after we finished talking and I'm walking around, I thought, you know, I liked that K scented melt that was teak wood and coconut. And it surprised me. And I think I even mentioned in my, what I've been warming video that I might would buy that again. So why don't I go smell the mahogany coconut that she just said that she liked. So I did. And I like it. <laughs> it is, I love the packaging, of course. Really cute. Blues are my thing. I like, my house is, you know, mostly blue accents. And the gold on this is really pretty. This is just a basic lid on this one. Oh, I didn't show you the lids, I don't think. On the Spring Plum and Blackberry and the Kiwi Passion Fruit, it's just the kind of galvanized metal lids. Anyway, this one is just a plain lid. And Creamy Coconut, Mahogany Woods, and English Lavender. I do like lavender. I wonder if that's why I like this one. We'll say that's why. Anyway, it, and of course, as I was, after I paid and was walking out, I kind of snuck up next to her. I said, I got the mahogany coconut, and she busted out laughing. <laughs> anyway, it is, I don't really get the lavender in here unless it's kind of blending with that mahogany note. I definitely do, do not like the mahogany teak wood that they have. That is definitely not my jam. But the coconut mixed with this kind of smooths it out and takes it, takes that harshness out of the woodsy notes um, and kind of, you know, mellows out that cologne note from mahogany. Anyway, so I don't know if I'll use this under a candle lamp or in a candle crock, or I might even chunk it up and put it in my uh, warmers, but that'll last longer that way. But I think I might do it under a lamp first just to see how it does and then kind of decide how I'm going to um, use it from there. Anyway, okay, so next we're going on to my online order. And kind of my strategy there is to look at the candles that I don't see in my store. That way, if I don't like them, at least someone that shops at my store can get something that they like, you know, and even smell it, you know, if I end up returning it or exchanging it. So I do know, and this is why I even ordered online, that I like raspberry tangerine. I currently have the uh, hand soap. I prefer the gentle gel. And I love the scent. Is it focusing? There we go. I absolutely love this scent. So, unfortunately, the candle was only available online, so that's why I went online and I ordered four of them. See if I can even pick them up all together. Four, <laughs> just of this scent. So, this is uh, Wild Raspberries Fresh Tangerine Lemon Zest with natural essential oils, whatever. So it is a perfect blend of, you know, that citrusy, sweet tangerine. 
and then that rich, sweet raspberry. I love it. It, it you know, that citrusy tart kind of note mixes so well with that sweet raspberry. Oh, there we go. And the bottom. Oh, I also kind of wanted to discuss. So you see these, you see that price on there? Where is it? Focus on the price. <laughs> $24.50. Okay. So I was watching Ashley Ruth here on YouTube and she mentioned, wow, some of these are $24.50. I wonder if it was because the labels, you know, the small labels versus like a wraparound label because the wraparound is $26.50. And I think she's definitely onto something there because I looked online and the only candles that are $24.50 are the ones with clear glass and small labels. So everything with wraparounds, everything with colored glass, and all of the, um, white barn which are colored glass i believe usually all of those are 2650 so the only ones that we're getting the 2450 price on are the ones with the clear glass small basic labels basically anyway just thought i'd mention that um i'm i never buy and i hope you never do either these candles at full price um i think Today, actually, they have 10 off, $10 off of the three wicks. Um, but, you know, $10 off of $26.50, that's a still a no for me. Even off of $24.50, still a no. Um, the single wicks, though, are on sale today. I'm not sure if it's today only, but today for $5.95. So if you have a 25% off coupon to go with those, it makes it, $4.46 for the one wicks. So if you're interested in one wicks, today wouldn't be a bad day to get those. Anyway, done with the price. Let's finish the haul. <laughs> okay, so I have not smelled the rest of these, and I bought these in twos. So this will be my first sniff here of vintage and I hope this is really getting a good shot of the texture on these labels. It's almost like a snakeskin look, you know, and feel. So Vintage is from the men's collection and it is described as blue lavender, fresh pepper, and vintage wood. Here's the bottom. And $26.50 on that price. Okay, here we go. I get the lavender. Um, it's a really woodsy lavender peppery and wood, uh-huh. But I can't tell that there's lavender. You know, this might be my kind of masculine cologne scent because I don't like the super woodsy note, but that lavender in here, I think I like it. I may at least keep one of these. I got two, like I said, of each. And on one of these, actually both of them a little bit, the um, wraparounds are kind of messed up. You can see there at the bottom on this one. And then that one's kind of messed up as well. Anyway, I don't really care about the labels, but yeah, I like this. 
kind of smells like old books and lavender. It's not like super woodsy. So yeah, I like that one. These are online only, like I said. Um, next I got Ocean and I got two Ocean. And you can definitely see this label is messed up. Oh, it's focusing on me. You can see this label is messed up. And these also have that kind of snakeskin type texture to it. These are just basic black lids, by the way. This and the vintage. And let's see. I think this scent has been around for years. Blue Cypress, Vetiver, and Coastal Air. I'll let you see the bottom. They can whoop. <laughs> My chair just slipped. And I don't know if you can hear that, but the some of these candles, this one's not, came unglued from the bottom. Apparently they went through some super super cold area that was not here. <laughs> um, ocean. Can't really. Yeah. It's um, kind of just a fresh air scent, almost. Blue Cypress Vetiver Coastal Air. Did I show you the bottom? I don't remember if I did. Blue Cypress Vetiver. I'm not a huge Vetiver fan. But that one's not bad. Um... But I might take these back or exchange them. I might try one and see how I like it. And, it, you know, depending on how I like it, take that second one back to exchange. We'll see. Um, if you're familiar with Bath and Body Works, you're probably familiar with that scent anyway. And then the next one I got, Warm Vanilla Sugar. Um, Melanie on Mr. Kong's mom here on YouTube said that she loves this scent in the candle. And when I saw it was an online only, I thought, well, not a bad one to pick up. Even if I don't like it, people, other people at the same, that shop at the stores I go to would love to have it there. So, oh yeah, it's not bad. Intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's quite the um, scent list for a scent named warm vanilla sugar, you know. I'm sorry. I know that's probably reflecting. And it is a clear glass with that small uh, label, plain lid. And let me flip it around so you can see the bottom. So, intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood. Oh, I do like the scent. I was kind of thinking I wouldn't just because I'm not a foodie bakery smell lover. I prefer fruity and fresh. Oh, yeah. I see why she likes this scent. I'll be keeping these. <laughs> so the only ones that might go back is one ocean and one vintage. Um, anyway, not bad. <laughs> if you are not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel so you will get, so you can keep up to date with videos that I upload and if you participated in the sale last week at Bath and Body Works the $12.95 sale let me know what you got um, and have did you order online did you order things that you did not know if you would like them or not and how did they turn out yeah let me know in the comments below um, and I love talking about it and finding out what everyone else picked up and if you liked it or didn't like it. 
Um, anyway, thank you for watching until now. Subscribe if you're not already and give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.